Hi, I'm Pete from Madison. I do technical support for Shimano in the UK. We do events and dealer education, that sort of thing. And yeah, I'm here with Silverfish sporting Yeti. So Yeti have got a new bike that's just been launched, an update to their E160. And it's got our Shimano EP801 drive unit in it this time around. The biggest update has been the battery management system within the battery and then the way it communicates with the drive unit, along with some smaller updates to some of the performance of the drive unit, a bit more power, a lot more adjustability. Um, but overall, a lot of the features have remained the same, but it's just increased kind of functionality and adjustability for the end consumer and hopefully a little bit more range from the system as well. So Shimano have been working with Yeti for quite a while now and they're one of the first kind of dedicated e-bike specific race teams that have been in the, in the circuit. The team at Shimano have actually been in direct contact with Yeti in the development of both the bike and also improving the latest drive unit that's now in the, in the market. We focus on racing, it's our heritage. Our Enduro mountain bike team has been working with Shimano very closely for the last couple of years on their development, making the bikes faster. Gilcrest was able to go from absolutely no wins in power stages last year to a couple of wins this year in the e EDRs. Now some of those things are coming to fruition for customers on the 160E with the new 801 and the riders have been giving feedback on both the way the components work and you know, changing some of the way that the characteristics of the drive unit are actually related to really pushing the bike hard rather than necessarily just your average consumer. So the Yeti is one of the most kind of aggressive e-bikes on the market now, which lends itself to riding all sorts of trails and perfect for the UK. So the EP800 drive unit came with 85 newton meters of torque and 500 watts of kind of peak power. Um, the 801 that's in the latest E160 has now gone up to 600 watts, kept that high 85 newton meters of torque and is paired with a 630 watt hour battery. But what the big difference is through the new battery management system and some of the cooling technology increasing the surface area on the drive unit that we've implemented, it's allowed for an increase in range by keeping the operating temperature of the system much better and providing peak performance for longer, which is great when you're you know, particularly working the system really hard on you know, steep climbs and repeated fast descents. Feedback's been been excellent. The bike rides amazing. I think pretty often we hear that it's sort of the most fun e-mountain bike that, that people ride. And with the new updates to the motor, the motor keeps up with the suspension technology now. So it's, it's great to have that confirmed. <laughs>